Hey, what's up guys? So I just wanted to talk to you today a little bit about the DreamPad pillow, my two week review, and also how it worked for me when I tracked it using the Apple Watch. Definitely check out my other video where I test it against other sleeping aids. Now I'm not the type of person that has insomnia or really has a difficult time falling asleep. Unless my mind's running, sometimes it, that can take like 30 or 45 minutes. I wouldn't say I get a lot of sleep. I probably averaged around six and a half to seven hours. So I, I actually reached out to DreamPad because first of all, I, I heard the, the pillow was highly evidence-based for people that are suffering from insomnia, PTSD. Um, it's supposed to be really good for kids. And I just thought I would try it out and um, see what it was like. And so they were like kind enough to just send it to me. And so this is actually my first product review. I'm not sponsored by them in any way. They just provided the product to me for free. So I actually think that the pillow is a pretty cool idea just because the whole idea is that you, you're laying on a pillow and you're listening to the sounds from the app or you can listen to a podcast. You can listen to whatever you want, but you don't have to wear earphones or uh, AirPods, which can kind of make it a little more distracting and make it harder to fall asleep. So I've been using the DreamPad pillow for the last two weeks and I tracked my sleep with the Apple Watch. I noticed that, I wouldn't say I noticed a huge difference with my um, awake times, and that's the main thing I'm looking at. I'm trying to find out like if my awake times during the night are longer than normal. And I found that at first when I started using the pillow, like I could just put my head back on the pillow and fall right to sleep. Now, after like a week or so, like I, probably wasn't putting my head like in the right spot on the pillow because you kind of want your head in the center. I would say in general, I've, I've been able to fall asleep a lot quicker after I wake up during the night, which has been helpful. So for that reason alone, I feel like the pillow could be worth it, but I want to continue to test this out and try it out. And I probably need to be a little more um, be a little more diligent about just making sure that my head's in the right spot and and using the pillow correctly every night before I go to sleep. So I would say my time before before I had the sleep pad pillow, um, I was probably averaging about 15 to 20 minutes awake at night. And now my time has actually been reduced by quite a bit to about, I would say about eight to 12 minutes awake at night. I know that's not a huge difference, but that's kind of what I've noticed when I track my sleep. So I didn't notice a huge difference, but the times where I was actually like remembering to use the pillow, I felt like I was able to fall asleep pretty quickly after I woke up. So in that sense, I feel like the pillow does what it's supposed to do. And, and, uh, and it also helps like just falling asleep. Like just last night, I used the pillow before I went to sleep. My mind was really busy, just a lot of things on my mind. And I put my head down on, on the pillow and I instantly just started like listening to the music and it put me to sleep like right away. So it has definitely worked for me most nights. Now, what are the pros and cons? So first of all, the pros, I would say it's just easier to fall back asleep. Um, it's and it's really good if you're like a side sleeper, but the cons, if you mostly sleep on your back or maybe even stomach, it might be a little bit harder. And for me, I, I'm mostly a stomach sleeper. So when I fall asleep, I try to sleep on my side. And then when I wake up during the night, I'm usually on my stomach. So that's just kind of a con if you're a back or, or stomach sleeper. It, you can't really listen to the music and the pillow, so it's not gonna really do its job. Another con is that you have to pay for the app. You have to pay for the music or the melodies inside the app, or you pay like a monthly fee or a yearly fee. It's not a lot of money, it's really cheap, but it's still just an inconvenience and it's kind of an expensive pillow to begin with. Another con I found with it was when using the Bluetooth adapter to listening to the sounds before I go to sleep. Um, it just seemed to like amplify the music a lot louder than what I wanted. So initially I wasn't able to even to use it because I was using the Bluetooth adapter. But I think if I was probably using their app, I wouldn't have this problem. And, and so what I did to fix this is I just didn't use the Bluetooth adapter. I just used the dongle that plugged into my phone and plugged into the pillow and I was able to fall asleep easily just using that. And that wasn't a problem at all. I just, the only thing is I had to keep the phone near my head or near the pillow or inside the pillow. So that wasn't really a big deal though. All right, so after two weeks, would I still recommend using the DreamPad pillow? Um, I think 
for most people, if you have insomnia, if you have a difficult time falling asleep or staying asleep, it's definitely something that you should try out and see if it works for you. For most things like this, I feel like you should uh, trial them and see if it's worth it. For me, I'm definitely gonna keep using the pillow because I feel like in general it has helped and made a difference, but I don't, ha I don't, I'm not in this category of people that have PTSD or insomnia, so I feel like it would definitely benefit someone like that a lot more. And it is evidence-based. There is a lot of evidence behind this showing that it does help people with uh, insomnia. And another really cool thing about this is most of the articles that I've read on this are done by occupational therapists. So I'm really happy to be able to report that occupational therapists are in the field and they're testing sleep and they found that a dream pad pillow is like one way to actually improve your sleep. Definitely check out my other video where I test it against other sleeping aids. I think you'll find that really interesting and I talk about the research more in it. So if you like this video, definitely like, subscribe. Okay, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks.